so oh, with the fact that, or the conclusion that God began the universe at what I guess we would call the Big Bang or at a moment, and it began to, and it expanded and then came to where we are today, would mean that he would have had to intentionally set in motion all the events leading up to today, which would be forming of the universe and the world and humans. Mm -hmm. So for him to have set that intentionally into motion would imply that when he set the world into motion, it was in a de deterministic fashion that every event like presupposed the next ones and that everything, like Laplacian um, celestial mechanics, that's kind of determinism. So where would human free will fit okay. into a determinism? Boy, these are really good questions. Uh, and fortunately, these are things that I've studied. Um, <laughs> your question is about divine providence about God's control of human history, and particularly how can he providentially and sovereignly direct a world of free creatures toward his previsioned ends? Um, how can he do that without m turning them all into puppets, as you say, making them causally determined? And I think the answer is that God has a certain kind of knowledge that theologians call middle knowledge. And this is his knowledge of what any person would freely do in any set of circumstances that God might place him in. So for example, God knew what Pilate would do if he were the prefect of Judea in the first century and Jesus were brought before him on trial. Um, he knew what you would do if you had been the prefect of Judea at that time. He knew what Susan would do if she had been in a similar situation. Um, and by actualizing certain circumstances and then placing free persons in them, knowing how they would freely choose, God can weakly actualize the results of their choices. So, he doesn't need to causally determine them. Th those that he causally determines, he strongly actualizes, like the Big Bang, for example. But then things that involve freedom or indeterminacy, he would weakly actualize by setting up the circumstances and putting the people in them knowing how they would freely choose, and then getting the, the outcome as a result. Do you understand the answer whether you agree with it or not? Uh, okay, so that, that would be the theory I would defend. I, I have a strong view of divine sovereignty and providence, uh, and it would be through this so-called middle knowledge. This is also talked about in the book, um, The Only Wise God. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm.